Hello there, my name is Bloodfire Souls, and today I want to show you a quick tip for Skyrim that you can use to tweak an armor's mod type to your liking, all on your own. If you see an armor on the Nexus that you like, but the mod author has either forgotten, neglected, or chosen by design to exclude the other armor type, don't feel like you need to find another armor mod that fits your character. Download the armor you think looks the best, and then use what I'm about to show you to tweak the armor yourself to fit your character's needs. Once you've downloaded the armor you want, you'll need to open its plugin file with the creation kit. I've already prepared my file as you can see here. I pulled this plugin file from the Daedric Reaper mod out of the mods folder and I've placed it in my data folder. It doesn't need to be on the desktop but I have a copy there as well. <coughs> if you're using Mod Organizer you can right click the file you want so right here I have Daedric Reaper and you can click open in Explorer and you can see your ESP file here if you're using Nexus Mod Manager then your plugin should have already been placed in your data folder when you installed the mod so there's no need to move it next we want to load up the creation kit if you don't already have the creation kit installed you're going to need to the creation kit can be nice to have to make little tweaks like what we're doing today but you can also save old plugins to update them to the special edition format. Some mod authors forget to update their plugin and you will need to save it in the creation kit to update it yourself. But that's an, another thing entirely. <coughs> so I've already preloaded the creation kit. But once you're in to the creation kit you want to click this button here and select the plugin file that you want to that you want to modify in this case I have Daedric Reaper armor here and you want to click set as active file and then click OK uh, since the creation kit takes forever to load I've already preloaded I already preloaded the file that I wanted so now once we have the creation kit open it'll take a while for it to load the plugin um, you want to click yes to all errors that pop up they're not important you can completely ignore any errors any warnings or no don't ignore errors <laughs> just ignore the warnings if a plugin has errors then something's very wrong Uh, once everything's done, done and loaded, we can get started. So now we need to locate where the armor is. First you want to expand the items here. Expand the armor tab. And look for the group of armor that matches the name of the mod you have installed. The, mo the name of the mod and armor plugin. In this case, my armor's group is not Daedric Reaper, but I do know that it is part of the Mini Armors collection. So, here I've selected Mini Armors collection, and look, look what we have here. Here's all of my Daedric Reaper armor pieces. So after selecting the group of armor that we want to edit, we can now see all of these individual pieces. All we have to do to change them is you double click on this piece of armor here that you want to modify and this dialog box will pop up don't touch anything in here that you don't know what it does all we want to do is pay attention to this drop down box here next to wait and the armor keywords so in this case uh, I want to modify this armor to be light armor it is heavy armor but I want to use this on a light armor character because I like the way the armor looks so in order to do that it's as simple as just changing a few things in here so right here in this dialog box we want to select light because the armor type is light and then we need to pay special attention to these keywords over here because if you don't add the correct keywords, then your armor will not benefit from any perks 
or anything like that and you'll end up with crap armor that says light armor but it doesn't behave like light armor so what you want to do is delete this armor heavy keyword right click on armor heavy click delete bam it's gone don't delete any of these other keywords they're all fine you only want to play around with the armor light and armor heavy keywords delete only delete those next click add and in this select form box you want to type armor and in this case I want to change mine to armor light so you can scroll down here and you can find armor light there's armor light there but it's easier to just click armor light with no spaces click armor light click OK now we've changed the keyword on this piece of armor to be armor light so now this piece of armor is not only classified as a light armor set but it also has the correct keyword to make sure that it benefits from light armor perks as I said you don't need to do anything else you don't need to touch anything else you can leave all of this you leave all of this here however you can change the armor rating if you want you can make it weightless if you like you can change your little stats here but I only wanted to change the armor type so I'm gonna click OK because I've made the changes that I want and then I just want to go ahead and go through all of these I'm not going to go through all of these because I've already edited this plugin myself um, but you want to change all of the pieces of armor in the mod that you're tweaking to be the armor type that you want you want to add your your keyword and you want to change the type but well, once that's all done once you've made all of your changes to your armor mod that you want you've changed all all the armor types just hit file save again I'm not gonna save because I've already created a plugin and you close out of the creation kit again I'm not gonna save the changes and then if you're using Nexus Mod Manager you're done that's it you should be able to go in game and you'll see the change immediately if you're using Mod Organizer you're gonna have to go replace your plugin so again open with Explorer and then you can take the file out of your data folder here so there's my Daedric Reaper ESP I'm gonna delete it though because again the correct Daedric Reaper file for me is already in here so you want to drag that out of here out of your data folder and drag it back into your mod folder if you're using mod organizer after that you can reset mod organizer and you're good to go as well so thank you for watching and I hope this helped